What is up everybody? Chaos here. Bring you guys another video. And man, I'm happy to bring you guys this video. I asked for 200 likes on my previous video. It was the Madden 20 beta review. If you guys haven't seen that, I'll put it in the card above. Actually, it'll be over here on this side. But make sure you guys check that out. I gave my full, honest review of what I thought the great things were about the beta and the bad things. But the overall kind of general feel for it was I really liked the game and I really thought it was good. So I hope you guys... Hope you guys will check that out, but you guys really knocked it out of the park with the likes, so I really appreciate you guys for that, man. So I'm bringing you guys today how to prepare for Madden 20, what you need to do in Madden 19, if you're still playing it, of course, for the next month or so to help you be ready for it. What are the things that you can do to get better in general as like just overall Madden skills that translate from year to year, as well as just certain things that you need to stop doing and start doing more of in Madden 19. So. It's a, it's a general list that I put together, the top five things that I feel like you need to do. I feel like it'll be helpful for you. I honestly will be doing some of the same things, and I'll tell you that right now. So it's not like I'm just giving you something. Uh, I can just give them some BS content that they'll think will make them better. No, I'm honestly going to be doing probably all five of these, if not all five, most of them. So hope you guys are ready for that. I'm going to give you guys another like goal because you guys really knocked it out of the park this time. If we get another 200 likes on this, I will give you guys another tip video for Madden on how to how to uh, end the year right going into Madden 20 and then for Madden 20 as soon as that drops how you would start on that game to be the best that you can be early on so most people will probably tell you in the competitive community that I was one of the best players in the beginning of Madden 18 and Madden 19 by the end of the year I fizzled out a little bit I'll be on not playing as much and being busy with basketball and school and cert and, and all that stuff but early on in the year from like August and September I don't really have any basketball and I'm not going into going to in Madden 20 but I was one of the best players those years. I honestly was at the beginning of the year, Madden 18, Madden 19. I could beat any player. I had lots of success. And it showed through things like Weekend League, through money games, through tournaments. So I'm going to tell you guys what I do early on in Madden games in order to be successful. So 200 likes and we can knock that out. That will be a little bit later video, but I'm telling you guys that video will be definitely helpful as well. But for now, let me just show you guys the top five things you should be doing over the next month in order to get into Madden 20. Sorry to hold you guys for so long, but let's get it. Number five, change it up. Okay guys, so coming in hot at number five, I just have do something new. So that can mean several things as far as like offense, defense, etc. So on the offensive side of the ball, say you're in gun bunch, right? Try something new. Maybe go to a spread set. Maybe go like a gun doubles or gun trips. Heck, it doesn't even have to be like a thing that wasn't used. Go from gun bunch to trip side in. Get good in the compressed set, get good in the spread set, right? If you're in gun trip tight end, maybe you want to go to gun bunch. Now, I personally, after playing the Madden 20 beta for pretty much three days straight for a long time, I really feel like compressed sets are going to be the move this year. I feel like you're going to, if you're in a spread set, you're going to struggle. It's a lot easier to beat man out of a spread, out of a compressed set this year. And additionally, I just feel like it's just a better, it's just better against the zones. The way that the zones play, you can manipulate them a lot more out of a compressed set. So my first advice for you guys is just get out of your comfort zone, man. Uh, try something different. And then for the defensive side of the ball, I mean, there's two things I'm going to recommend. Try a different formation. If you've been in 3-3-5 all year because it's been pretty much good all year, maybe try a four-down lineman set. Go to Big Nickel, right? Maybe uh, maybe try a dollar set that's kind of a symmetrical set as opposed to 3-3-5, which isn't symmetrical. If you So say you like to blitz a lot, right? So you, you like to send six every down and just try to make a play with your user. There's nothing wrong with that. There's plenty of players that like to send six pretty much every play and make a play with their user. Nothing wrong with that. But it wouldn't hurt you to practice playing coverage. So if you're gotten used to sending six every time, you can get better at just sending three and making really good adjustments and stopping your opponent that way. And that'll really help you honestly for Madden 20 because of how good the pass rush is, especially if you have elite pass rushers. If you like to just play coverage every time, right? You only like to send three over and over and over again. You never blitz. Learn how to blitz maybe. Start sending six a lot and see if you can make plays with your users. See if you can be aggressive enough with your adjustments and your blitzing to make a play that way. Just getting out of your comfort zone and really trying something new I think is really going to help you guys. And uh, just so you know, for this part, I know it's not really showing you guys anything. For a lot of these parts, it will be demonstrating, but there's nothing for me to really dem demonstrate here. Get out of your comfort zone and try something new. I know for me, I told you guys I'm going to be using these tips. I've been a trip tight end for the past two years. You guys have seen it. I will not be in trips tight end for this last month. I'll be playing my friends. I'll be maybe messing around with some money games. I'll be in gun bunch just trying to learn something new and try to get try to better myself and allow myself to do better out of just something that I'm not just comfortable in that I've used all the time. So hope you guys are ready for number four. 
Hope you guys like number five. Definitely need to try something new. Number four, adjustments. Okay guys, coming in hot at number four, we have quick adjusting and really just adjusting in general. So next year, if you guys haven't played the beta yet and you haven't seen any footage, you come right from the huddle straight to the line kind of like practice mode if you go into practice mode and call your play it literally shoots you right to the way you're at on the line ready to go to hike your play now with tom brady and madden 20 you get unlimited hot routes so you're gonna be playing a lot of him uh especially in weekend league i'd imagine but definitely in regs and you need to be able to adjust in the five seconds that they limit you before you can hike the ball so you automatically get a maximum a, a minimum of five seconds maybe more if they take longer to hot route but at least five seconds so you need to learn how to get those hot, uh, hot quick routes, excuse me, hot quick adjustments down very quickly. So just learning how to do that will make you a lot better player and clicking around to your players quicker, knowing how you can get to them. So like, say you got to move a guy, right? And then you click around, just like being able to do stuff like that quickly as well as quick adjustments. So learning your buttons for the, if you, for you guys who don't know, DBs, you press Y, Y, and then you have a specific person you can get. You pick whatever button it is, Y, B, A, etc. For linebackers, it's R, B, R, B, R, B. You have a specific. And for linemen, it's L, B, L, B. So that's that's where it is. And just getting good at that, like like you guys see, like I, I'm messing around. I'm changing up my coverage. Maybe man up a guy here. Maybe hard flat here. Just being able to do different things very, very quickly. Maybe I want to cross man this safety. Just... I can do them really, really quickly, and I'm not gonna lie to you. I was still getting getting quick hiked a lot, um, just because of how fast it is from the line, from the huddle to the line, and then they hike the ball because they're unlimited hot routes. So you gotta be you gotta be quick on this. So just resetting, like All right, I'm gonna set up a cover four over here. Just being able to do that, like I was able to do that super quickly. I'm telling you guys, if you don't quick adjust, you're gonna learn this year. I'm telling you right now. So. This last month of the year, you really need to be doing this. And even if you do it, just get faster at it. Just practice. Just memorize where the buttons are. Not even have to like really even look at it. Like just being able to do it quickly, it's really gonna help you guys. I think this is the main thing that will help you to quick. And also learn how to quick around fast. So like if you want to pull your safeties down, be able to do that fast. Moving in your corners, just being able to do that quickly. I want to blitz this guy here. Just doing all do the things I promise. I'm not gonna harp on it too long. This will help you. And I'm gonna move into number three, guys. Number three, stop using high ball. Okay guys, number three. <laughs> this is one of the most important ones. I really thought about putting this at one, but the last two are relatively super important. So I'm gonna leave it at number three. Get off of high ball. Stop high balling everything in the middle of the field. Just get, just get away from it. You're not gonna be able to do a successful next year. I promise you everything is swatted. Aggressive catch is probably going to be gone for the first time since Madden 16. Madden 20, it's very, very toned down. I had very few ags. So here's what you're going to have to do. Just like, so anything that you would normally hot route, right? Or normally throw, excuse me. So like a hitch, right? You normally would, would highball that. Just throw it. Like get in the habit of just throwing it. E and even more so, low ball was pretty good. Now it wasn't like before when it would dumb out everybody, but it was successful and helped you kind of fit it things into better spaces and get yourself a little bit of a possession catch so maybe if, if you want a low ball that works too but just get away from always highballing everything and i think it'll be really helpful for you guys <laughs> you'll it'll prevent you from throwing a lot of picks this year man we're really we're really in the habit of just anytime man just highballing everything and going to catch the ball and it, we just have so much success with it you catch it all the time and it's just a really bad habit that a lot of people have built i honestly I throw high balls, yes, of course, you wouldn't be successful this year without it, but I haven't built up the habit too bad to the point that I wasn't able to stop. I feel like some people, it's like they literally have that thing taped down every pass. Like, this thing doesn't, you don't throw a pass without pressing it. So, if you're one of those people, if you're, been, if you're in that boat, I'm telling you, stop doing it. The next month, just try to prevent it. Now, if you're playing a money game, Use, use high ball. Don't lose money because you can't high ball the pass. But if you're playing your buddies or you're playing weekend league in the games that don't even matter, don't high ball, man. Just freaking maybe mix in some low balls or just do a regular pass. I promise you it'll help you going into the next year if you can break that habit early. Otherwise, that first week or so, maybe two weeks, you're just going to be breaking that habit. And it's going to prevent you from getting better faster, in my opinion. So that's what you need to do. That's number three going into Madden 20. Number two pocket presence all right guys number two now i was this close to putting it at number one i was very very close it's pocket presence man so next year the pass watch is a lot better if you didn't have tom brady with secure pass blocker on everybody 
those guys got after you. And especially if you had somebody like Aaron Donald, um, who else? Cameron Jordan. Those guys got after you, man. So I'm telling you right now, you're going to want to work on your pocket presence. All week I was using Tom Brady. And when I tell you guys I had over 50 yards rushing with Tom Brady multiple times, it was I was making him work out there. I was Some people calling me Michael Brady. No, I'm just kidding. But I actually was making him work. I was doing a good job maneuvering the pocket. And when you actually pass the line of scrimmage next year, it gives you a little bit of a speed burst. So no matter how slow you are, you can pick up good yards with your quarterback. I was getting three to five with Tom Brady whenever I took off. But also times I was just maneuvering in the pocket to stay alive because I knew I was about to have a wide open pass. And when I did that, I had a lot of success with it too. So some of you guys can do just go into, go into practice mode. Practice mode has juice sheds anyways. And get in 3-3-5 three, three, or get in 4-3 wide 9. Uh, I wouldn't use big nickel because the, the looping doesn't work next year. And that's probably just going to stack you every time. But just get in 3-3-5, get in 4-3 three, 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 wide 9 and let them just get after you, man. Just let them go. And try to stay alive while looking downfield. Like, don't just be staring at Tom Brady the whole time. Like, be looking downfield. Try to stay alive and do the best you can. Um, and I'll do that now. I'll try to stay alive for you guys. No judgments here. Just staying alive. Work the pocket. I was trying to move left there. But honestly, I don't even have the best pocket. There's guys out there like Kiv, Manu, uh, Dubby has good good stick in the pocket. Just got Joel has very good pocket. Uh, just, stay alive, just staying alive, man. It's it's. It'll help you guys so much. Now, like times like that, bro, like, what am I going to do right there? You're going to get sacked. Sometimes you're going to get sacked, but you just do the best you can. Stay alive, maneuver, look downfield, hit a guy late, right? Now, I'm not going to pass anymore because I'm just going to try to stay alive as long as I can. I'm just trying to show you guys that I'm still looking downfield, showing you guys I'm still trying to find something open. Right there, maybe I could have stepped up, but I didn't see him really trying to shed right there. I thought he had a good solid block. But just doing a good job. See, if I don't have to maneuver, like, I'm not going to step up into that spot. Help my lineman out a little bit. Staying alive right here. Keeping them at bay. Just keeping them at bay. Just stuff like that. If they have a spot out there, though, I'm not going to just, like, some people call this pocket. Like, look, they just step up, step up, step up, step up, right into the spot. Like, you don't want to do that if you don't have to. Now, if those guys are screaming around the edge, go ahead and step up. Let the spy sack you. You'll lose a half a yard. But, like, right here, I can just stand here stand tall and take my one to two yard sack if I don't find anything open downfield but I'm telling you I think you guys if you guys do this and look downfield the whole time I think it'll help you guys but see they send them right there and you get sacked but I feel like this is a really good drill this is something that you can do especially because the practice mode is so good and I really think it'll help you guys it's definitely helped me I've definitely done this before maybe that's silly maybe you guys think I'm stupid like I go sit here and try to work on my pocket but shoot I think it helps man and I think uh, I and I do it with somebody like Brady, because if I had Patrick Mahomes, like I could just run away, and you can always do that. Like you don't need to practice. You seeing a guy coming in and running away, like maneuver with a slow guy, and then and then go use the fast guy, and then see how much better you've gotten. Don't do it the other way around, using a fast guy and then try to move to a slow guy. So just do that. I really think it'll help. Now, when your lineman block like this, it'll probably help you a lot more. Then I'm always going to do that for you, especially next year, but. That's it for number two, guys. It was very close to being number one. And now, let's jump into number one. The most important thing to help you guys get into Madden 20 with. Number one, usering. Okay, guys, number one. The number one helpful tip for you guys to prepare for Madden 20 is usering. So, just so you guys know, next year, the way the trajectory is, you're not going to be able to lurk low and pick off a post. I can't be standing right here underneath a drag and pick off a post that's getting thrown all the way back here. Now, I'm exaggerating a little bit, yes, but it's not like that, guys. I'm telling you, you gotta be right on the guy to pick it off. And now, if you're using a linebacker, you really have to be right on him. Guys like Obi Malafon, Obi was awesome in Madden 20. That guy flies, he's fast, he's tall. He can still make plays from like underneath something, but you do have to be a lot closer to the receiver than you ever have before. So here's what I'm gonna tell you guys about usering. Number one, if you're just not a good user at all, Get better at it. In my bad guys, I, my controller's dying, but get better at it. Just in general, get better at usering. It'll be helpful for you. Number two, if you are a good user, just get better at being closer to the route and being more precise as opposed to just lurking low, lurking low. I'm going to pick off everything. Just getting better at what movements you need to be making going into the next year is going to be important for you. And I think if you do those things, you will get improved. Now, I'm going to kind of help you guys I'm gonna demonstrate for you guys ways that you can use our different route combos and just the smartest way to go about usering but 
in general, just number one, learning how to be a good user, and number two, learning the new ways that you're gonna have to use it because you have to be closer to routes now. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna get my batteries fixed. It's okay, we're gonna keep this in there. I was really on a good rant right there, so we're gonna keep this cut in, and uh, I'm gonna get my batteries, and we're gonna show you guys a demonstration on number one. Okay, guys, we're Gucci, we good. Now, the first key to usering, honestly, guys, is knowing your responsibility, all right? So, on this given play, like, I'm just doing stock DB fire, just knowing your responsibility. I know that anything to the flat, since I have a soft squad, I just play clouds just to make it more, uh, more obvious. If you have, oh, I'm an idiot, I'm using the wrong controller, so, sorry about that. So, yeah, so if I have clouds out there, I know, okay, I have to lurk the flat, because the clouds didn't give that up. And then I know the, the deep middle, I don't have any mid reads, I don't have a middle deep blue, the deep middle is gonna be open, okay? So, I just have double in sale uh, for you guys. So I'm not gonna, I'll just streak B to kind of open that up. I have to I have to lurk my responsibility. And you have to know what things are gonna be open first. So you know the flat's gonna be open first, so I'm gonna lurk low, and then I'm gonna try to circle back to the streak going down the middle. And then thirdly, I'm gonna come back to the deep, to the in routes as they per pass my vert hook on this left side right here as they pass Harmon. So I'm just gonna hike it. So I lurk low, lurk back, and now I'm down on the in routes. Now, obviously I can't cover literally everything if I have really bad coverage. And the vert hook actually went with the streak because I shaded up. I forgot I did that. So I didn't have to lurk back to the streak there. If I had shaded down, it'll play the in route. Just based on shading, knowing what you have to respond to. So since I didn't have to take the streak, I needed to be down on these in routes and I, I actually took a bad angle and I'll lurk it again and show you guys the right, the exact way to do it. Just because, that's, I'm gonna keep that in too because it was a little bit of a mistake by me. Knowing I shaded up knows that my vert hook's gonna follow that streak and from there I know what I have to use it even more. So, lurk low, circle back, I'm on the in routes and then he sacks. So just being able to lurk your assignment and know what you need to do on a given play is important. So like if I play hard flats, right? Oh, oops. So if I play hard flats right here, I know the table route's not gonna be open, okay? So I don't need to lurk the table route. I know I need to lurk the corner route. And I know the in routes are gonna be open late, so maybe I'll put maybe I'll put this guy in yellow to stop it late too. So like if they hike the ball here, I'm shaded down, I'm on the corner route, and then I come back down. So just something like that will help you guys know your responsibility and allow you to play it. Secondly, knowing the routes that are going to beat everything. So like if they come out in uh, PS Lock Corner, I have that in my audibles, you know this post is going to beat every coverage. So you're going to know that that post, no matter what zone you have on the right, unless you have a deep quarter with no fade pushing it back, but let's just imagine there's a fade pushing a deep quarterback, you know you have to go lurk that. So late in the play, whenever they hike the ball, you're going to know that you have to come back to it. So I'll lurk here first, lurk back, and then I know the post is going to get open. So I go back to it. So just knowing responsibility, knowing what routes are going to beat everything that you put out there no matter what will help you guys tremendously. I also, if you guys need more help, I'm not going to go too in-depth to it. I have a video on usering already. I'll put it in the corner right up here. I'll put it in the cards. If you guys want to check that out, by all means, do so. I think it'll be helpful for you guys. But that's it, guys. I hope you guys enjoy it. I hope this top five will help you. I hope you guys will try to do it. But that's it for me, man. Take it easy. Peace.